He also uh, makes the big point about how welfare causes a moral hazard problem. Uh, for example, uh, take uh, unemployment insurance again. Uh, it's been well known that Macy's wrote about it. Uh, many other mainstream economists, so-called, have written about it for decades. And that one of the moral hazard problems of unemployment insurance is that it causes more unemployment. Uh, in the United States today, I think it's around two years. Unemployment insurance lasts for two years. It differs the amount you get differs state by state, but it's not unusual for it to be 60% or more of your previous uh, income while you were employed. And so you can basically get a check for 60% or so uh, in some states of what you were making, but you don't have to go to work. You don't have to get get dressed. You don't have to spend money on gasoline or lunch or anything like that. And so uh, surely that diminishes the incentive that people have to retool, retrain, get a new job. Uh, for example, during the, the housing market crash in the United States, the housing bubble that was created by the Fed uh, sort of induced uh, millions of people to get jobs or careers in mortgage finance, uh, home repair, jobs at Home Depot and places like that, anything and everything related to the building and, and maintenance of houses. And then when the crash occurred, um, tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of these jobs disappeared, and people uh, were forced to retool, uh, retrain, and get a different type of job. But if you can just lounge around two years and make a decent amount of money enough to pay the bills, uh, a lot of people are going to take advantage of that and are not going to be so vigorous in, in pursuing a new career or a new job. And so uh, when the government majors the unemployment rate, uh, one of the ingredients is the duration of unemployment, how long people are unemployed. And, of course, with unemployment insurance being uh, more generous and longer lasting, it increases the duration of unemployment so that the unemployment rate that you read about is higher, whether it's the official government unemployment rate or if you look up shadowstatistics.com and find out what the real unemployment rate is if you use the the formula that the government used 25 or 30 years ago, then uh, it's not the 7.5% the government claims now. It's more, more more like 14 or 15%. But either way, it's longer because of unemployment insurance. And that's one of the things Von Mises is talking about here. And, and uh, the way he put it, I wrote down this quote from his uh, chapter. He said, social insurance has thus made the neurosis of the insured is dangerous public disease. And so he was, he was very astutely talking about how uh, behavior is changed in many ways uh, by so-called social insurance or welfare. And it's not just that people stay unemployed longer. Um, if, if, uh, if, if welfare is generous enough that uh, people have enough to eat, they have housing subsidies and child care subsidies and, and so forth, then uh, you, you do create the welfare trap. And we'll talk more about this uh, next week. But uh, uh, you, know, you create a trap whereby, for example, if, if someone is uh, in New York City making $40,000 a year in welfare benefits, cash and in-time benefits, and they get a job, and as a result of getting a, a decent paying job, they lose most of those benefits, their, their marginal tax rate could be 60, 70, 80 percent if you look at a tax and not in terms of uh, writing a check to the government, but losing uh, benefits that government was giving you. That's a form of a tax. It's taking something away from you that you were, were given. And so who can blame uh, a single mother with several children uh, who's getting along, you know, not living la too what lavishly, but getting along on welfare? to go and get a job, go to work, hire a babysitter, and pay a, a 70% marginal tax rate in the form of losing all her housing allowance, uh, food stamps, and, and, and so forth. She's trapped in welfare. She's trapped there forever, and and uh, her children probably will be uh, grandchildren if, if the system continues and maintains itself. And this is one of the things that Mises talks about. And it's not only that, but uh, people people's attitude changes, too. Uh, when you don't have to get up uh, for work, when you don't have to 
to uh, socialize with other people in an acceptable way. You don't have to uh, show up for a job interview and look and get cleaned up. And you don't have to cooperate with other human beings in the workplace. It's easy to turn into a slob, especially a guy. And so many people do. You turn into a slob and a a lazy slob. Uh, And so I'm not saying everyone does. But uh, I think that's one of the things that Mimisi used the word neurosis there. And he was probably alluding to, even in his day, you know, many, many years ago when he wrote this, uh, the, the welfare state in America was a tiny, tiny uh, smidgen of what it is today.